Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do this really big like coffee table side mold here and I'm going to do it with um, a beach theme. So I've got beach, uh, sand and I've got shells and um, seaweeds and blood, you know, that's come up on the beach that I've collected and I'm going to do a nice beach scene in this. So the, the resin I'm using first up is the Fast Curing Ultra Clear by Apparency. Um, unfortunately, my stand has died and I can't organise to hold it up. So I'm going to have to get a new stand and I might be able to get Stuart into um, video for a while. The mould out of the plastic wrapper now, you can see it's quite large. Um, and I've mixed up some sand with some of the resin that I've collected. So I should be pouring that in. I've also mixed up a mixture of different um, liquid pigments here for part of the sea. Um, so I, I can't, as I say, show you as I'm pouring it. So I'll try and do the sand first. And I've got it here in my hand and it's just deciding which area I'm going to make like the bay where the water's coming in. Um, normally it's quite nice on a circle isn't it so I might just pour some sand up here oops I've gone over it over the edge typical so I'm just pouring sand in there and I'm then gonna actually put some um, shells and bits of I've got some little tiny shells here that I'm popping in making sure that they're not higher than the edge of the mold itself so that I can cover it completely yes yeah, so this is fun I'll continue with this little bits of washed up seaweed and coral here About some over here so you can see that the bubbles have rise, risen to the surface just going to put some more shells in I've also got some, I've got some crushed, where are we, crushed shell here in brown and black. I'm going to put a few bits of that in, it's also got some, some nice tones in there. And I've also got some, some, um, a shell that I actually broke by accident. Um, and it's beautiful, it's pearlized as you can see and I thought I might put a few little pieces of that in to the area here. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is how I've gone so far. I've got the sand in, I've got rocks, shells, seaweed, coral sprinkled through and then I'm at the moment layering different colours of liquid pigment um, it's not ink, so it will not fade. It's um, that's why I'm using liquid pigments. Okay, so you can sort of see through the sea. I have got mixed up in this little yogurt um, container of white, so to make the waves. But I've sort of just run out of resin, so I've just mixed up another batch. So so far, this first stage, I've used um, six ounces. I've just mixed up another six ounces there. Actually added some chameleon um, glitter through here, just a tiny bit. You know that sparkle you get on the sea? So I've just put a few little tiny bits in there and I've got the um, all the different colored blues and a bit of green, teal, 
horizon blue, um, very light pale blue. You can see down here where the bubbles are coming up through the sand. I'll get rid of that with a mini blowtorch in a minute very carefully. I'm wondering if I should just add a bit of light coloured sand. Now that's a bit dark that one, so I'm going to add a bit of light coloured sand. Um, I've already used all the rest, so we'll have to make more. I've added a bit of gold spark, sparkle, glitter, into the sand and lighter coloured sand in there as well. I've also added a lot more of the um, chameleon blue purple one in the sea. Um, and I've got to put a bit more coral in there and seaweed. Uh, I've used all of, and then I'm going to put some waves in. So I'm going to be using this little mini blower. I can't turn it off, so it's either on or nothing. Um, and I'm going to put some white, some white satin in there now to create some more waves. You can see I've put more seaweed in. Here we go on the waves. Just going to gently pour it in around the. Sorry, this is very awkward to um, film. I hope you can see it. And I need to make some like pools around some of the, you know how it pulls around your um your rocks and little puddles little rock pools okay i'm going to leave it at that and i'm going to try and show you what i'm going to do next so just excuse me while i walk over here and grab it and i'm going to place this here and it's going to blow it can you see that hope you can see it So I'm going to come back around here now. It's looking good, isn't it? I love this little blow dry, mini blow dry. It's so handy to have. I need a bit, bit more in there, so I'm just going to move over and put a bit more. Added more of the white, and now I'm going to blow it. There we go. So when I'm going around the rocks, I sort of come from the inside and blow out. And then the waves, I'm blowing them out.
Right, we'll see how that goes. I did make a little turtle. It's got great significance to me. You can see I've actually even had it tattooed on my arm here. It's to represent all the fun times I've had with my son and family. When he takes us out on the yacht and we go diving and snorkeling and swimming with the turtles. So I'm going to place that in here now. I don't know where yet, so I'm going to... I did make a little turtle. It's got great significance to me. You can see I've actually even had it tattooed on my arm here. It's to represent all the fun times I've had with my son and family. When he takes us out on the yacht and we go diving and snorkeling and swimming with the turtles. So I'm going to place that in here now. I don't know where yet, so I'm going to... There he is. I've placed him. He's coming in. He's coming in to the beach. Um, also used to live at... Um, Bundaberg when I used to teach up there um, at Mon Repo. It's a famous place where all the turtles come in to lay their eggs. So as I say it's got great significance. So I'm going to have to put this now and let this layer cure and then we'll come back and put another layer on. Good afternoon everybody. It's Evie here. I'm back the next day 24 hours later and here's where we're at with our beautiful tabletop. I'm making. Um, it's cured gorgeous. So what I need now is I'm going to put the next coat on the top and I've decided I'm not going to put more waves on. I'm, I was going to but I really love it as it is. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing loose on the top or if there's check that they're not um, bits that are still exposed aren't going to not um, be covered with the next coat. So if they're too high I'll trim them as in the seaweed etc. So I'm just going to put the next coat on and the one I'm going to use, as I used Apparency um, Fast Cure, if you remember, for the base, I'm actually using uh, Apparency Premium um, Top Coat for the next lot. And I have got a lot made here. I've got uh, eight, about at least 10 ounces. So. I'm just waiting for the bubbles to rise and then I'll be pouring it on. Okay, I finished putting on actually, I ended up mixing even more. So I think I put on about another 14 ounces in the end. So it's taken a lot. I'm hoping that it's um, air bubble free. And I think my little turtle's head still sticking out beyond the top of the resin. So. I may have to do another coat tomorrow, but so far so good. Isn't it magnificent? Well, here we are a few days later. Um, it's cured. But as you can see, um, I've got a lot of bubbles around the edge. Not that that worries me because it is the sea, um, but it got very cold out in the art shed. So what I'm gonna, what I've done is, there was a few bits um, of seaweed that were a little bit too high. So I've actually sanded them down a little bit. Um, there's, there's the turtle. Look at him peeking his little head out. Um, so I'm going to do another top coat and I'm going to put in some, some wave formations around that edge there and um, to camouflage those bubbles a bit and um, finish this tray. Sorry, tray, tabletop. Okay. Just put my braid necklace in there so I don't get resin on it. So where I've sanded, I'm just going over with a soft paintbrush here. There's lots of scratches on here where it's been sanded, unfortunately, but they will disappear, I hope, when I get the next layer on. Um, oh dear, oopsie, hang on. Ah. Right, so what I'm using to make the waves is Angel White. 
It's a paste from Lorez Expressions. I didn't realise you'd gone over the whole thing with the sandpaper, love. It's very scratched. Right, so I've already got the white paste made. Can you come down and zoom in and see how scratched that is? darkness there. Okay, well I'm going to pour this in. It's still got bubbles in it, but uh, I'll just give it a little blast. I'll get rid of some of the surface bu 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 bubbles. The rest will come to the top. So what I'm going to do here, hopefully I've got enough made. It is already full to the top, so I'm just doing a, a complete surface. Um, it was my fault too, what I did. I shouldn't have used the, the sur top surface resin, which was just a top coat, and I made it so deep. I should have continued as I'm doing now with fast curing resin, um, which doesn't have as many bubbles. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this to the edge. I might not have enough. I mean, resin levels itself. I have got this table, this here, completely level because I've checked it. There's not enough resin there. Just enough. It's very low, this coffee table. My back's killing me. Okay. Right. I'll just go over that with a little mini blowtorch just to get any surface bubbles that might be there. to pour some more angel white have waves going up against the rocks don't you so a little bit more here Okay, hopefully I've got enough now. Now this is very noisy. I'm just going to use my little mini blow dryer again. And I'm just going to blow this if I can turn it on. It gets stuck. You can see what I'm doing if you're coming down close to it, please. You're in the shade there, Stuart. You have to come on this side.
Let my threads in there. Just drop the resin. And I'm going to blow it back the other way. if the waves are coming into the beach now. And you see there's not much resin there. That's why it wasn't moving. To actually disperse of any of the air bubbles, as you can see, and it just give it a little bit more movement, not much. about this has been done on so many different layers it's going to be very 3D. I've got some more of those air bubbles. Throw some waves up onto the beach. I can see that I've still got a couple of items that are still protruding out of the resin, so I may have to put another coating on just yet. So we'll see what happens. Still removing those air bubbles on the top. Okay, so we'll leave it. And I'll continue with the air bubbles and um, I hope I haven't ruined it by putting too much on there now. So, but Stuart says he thinks it looks fabulous. So anyway, I know it does disperse a bit. So we'll finish now and we'll come back when this is cured. Here we are. The next day and it's looking good we have a few little divots and a few raised stones etc so I'm going to attempt to put another coat on top of this and hopefully that's the last one but 
yeah, I think it looks nice. I'm hoping it stays beautiful. Nearly lost my turtle, <laughs> but you can still see him buried under there. And the back, which is quite beautiful. And if you can come in and you can see when the light's behind it, I'll come outside. So this tabletop remains clear and it will just be put onto legs. Um, you can see the colours through that. It's just beautiful and how the gold picks up. I'm really happy with it. I think it's quite beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed watching this process. I will put another video up once I get the legs on, but it won't be for a little while. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.